Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I am going to explain how to solve previous year TRB question in electrical and electronics engineering. The question number 1. In a string of suspension insulators, the voltage distribution across the different unit of a string could be made uniform by the use of a grading ring because it the first answer forms capacitance with link pin to cancel the charging current from link pins. Forms capacitance which help to cancel the charging current from link pins. Increases the capacitance of lower insulator unit to cause equal voltage drop. Decreases the capacitance of upper insulator unit to cause equal voltage drop. The answer is the B forms capacitance which help to cancel the charging current from the link pins so that is the answer for the first one second problem the insulation resistance of a single core cable is 200 micro ohm per kilometer the insulation resistance for 5 kilometer length actually here they have asked the insulation resistance the normal resistance the formula is r is equal to rho into r is equal to rho into l by a this is the normal formula for the resistance. But here the insulation resistance is somewhat different. The formula is R is directly proportional to 1 by L. So here what are the values given? The insulation resistance 200 ohm per kilometer. Insulation resistance we are going to find out for 5 kilometer length. So what is the formula R n equal to 1 by L that is the formula ok in this formula I have to write R1 by R2 that is R1 equal to 1 by L1 R2 equal to 1 by L2 now we have to divide both we get R1 by R2 equal to L2 by L1 now substitute the value here we get the answer R2 equal to 40 ohm okay next which one of the following statement is not correct for the use of bundle conductor in transmission line normally the bundle conductor is mainly used to control the voltage gradient reduction in corona loss reduction in radio interference and reduction in interference with the communication lines so this is the wrong answer uh, wrong uh, that is wrong one that is the correct answer for this problem Next, what is the energy supplied per year of a 100 megawatt power station if delivers 100 megawatt for 2 hours, 50 megawatt for 6 hours and is shut down for the rest of the day. It is also shut down for maintenance for 45 days in a year. So total days in a year 365 but shut down for 45 days but working hours, working days we are going to find out first. Afterwards per day. Uh, how much megawatt is generated so that you have to find out multiply the days with the megawatt will get a total megawatt supplied in a year so total days in a year 365 shut down for 45 days that is the uh, total net is 320 days total energy delivered is equal to 500 megawatt because 100 into 2 plus 50 into 6 energy supplied per year equal to 500 into 320 that is 1 lakh 60 thousand megawatt okay next the load flow analysis, the load at a bus is represented as constant current drawn from the bus, constant impedance connected at the bus, a voltage dependent impedance at the bus, a constant real and reactive powers drawn from, a, drawn from the bus. So, in the load flow analysis, three buses are there. First one is uh, generator bus, second one is load bus and third one is slack bus. Generator bus is otherwise known as PV bus. P comma V, PV bus and load bus is known as constant real and reactive power bus that is P comma Q bus and next one is mm, uh, third bus that is slack bus is V comma delta. So this is known as slack bus or swing bus. So these are about the three types. Okay, see the answer is load at the bus is constant real and reactive power drawn from the bus. 
And next question, what will be the holding current of SCR if latching current is 25 milliampere? Normally, always the holding current is less than the latching current. See in the 25 milliampere, so the current less than the latching current is 10 milliampere. That is answer. So how to find out IH is less than IL? IL by IH equal to 2.5. So IH equal to the ratio between IL to IH is 2.5. So IH equal to IL by 2.5 that is equal to 10 milliampere. Okay, next, if we in chopper, if T is a chopping period, then output voltage can be controlled by PWM by varying. So, four answers are given. T keeping T on constant, T keeping T off constant, T on keeping T off constant, varying T off keeping T on constant. See here, the PWM method, that is a pulse width modulation scheme or constant frequency system. In the pulse width modulation technique, output voltage of a cop, uh, chopper can be controlled by varying T on and keeping T uh, constant. Uh, see uh, here what is the total time period that is T on plus T off and next here what is our uh, aim here you have to change the voltage by adjusting the T on by pulse width modulation. See in the first case what about V naught? V naught equal to uh, Vs by 4 because alpha equal to T on by T. So what is T on here? T on equal to 1 by 4 into T. 1 by 4 into T that is T on. So now what is the what is V naught? V naught equal to alpha into alpha into Vs. So that is V naught. So here you have to substitute the alpha value that is 1 by 4 into Vs. So V0 is 25 percentage of Vs for this case. And next what I have to do, I have to adjust the value, vary the value T0 in order to change the voltage V. So how to vary, vary the voltage? Now I have to take an as the alpha T on equal to 1, 3 by 4 of T. So now alpha value will be changed. Alpha value also 3 by 4. 3 by 4. So now 3 by 4 means what about the V0? V0 equal to 75 percentage of the input value. 3 by 4 is 75. No, 75 percentage. Now the load voltage V0 equal to increase when compared to this V0. So this in this way uh, we have to change the voltage by varying T on. Next, turn on time of the SCR in series with the RL circuit can be reduced by the decreasing the L. So, increase the L, turn on time is increased. By decreasing the L, turn on time is decreased. And next, when PN junction is forward by us, only whole, uh, only the current is whole current, only the current is electron current, only the current is produced by majority current, the current is produced by both holes and electrons. See, when PN junction is forward by us, P is connected to the positive potential and N is connected to the negative potential. So, if P is connected to positive and N, N is connected to negative potential, in this way, uh, the N is, uh, the N consists of majority carriers as electron, so ripple by the negative charge and P is consists of positive uh, holes that is repelled by this uh, positive uh, charge. So in this way both the currents are flowing here that is uh, produced by electrons and holes. Both the, the current is made by both electrons and holes. And next in the reverse recovery characters of PN junction diode, the reverse recovery time is time taken by minority carriers to recombine with opposite charges to be neutralized, time taken by majority carriers to recombine the opposite charges to be neutralized, time taken by movement of majority carriers only and none of this. See here the reverse recovery characters of PN diode means that is in the reverse bias time. So reverse bias time we are having the minority carrier flowing only. So time taken by by minority carriers to recombine with the opposite charges get neutralized. That's all. So this is the answer. Thank you.